So, Rosa's been out for a while, and I'm sure she's vexed enough of you that a small guide on how to deal with her is in order. Hi everyone, it's Mir, and in today's video we're going to look at Rosa's most problematic moves, and I'll give you a few solutions on how to deal with them. So let's get right into it. First on the list is Soul Spiral, Corsico Forward Kick. This move is actually quite unsafe on block, at minus 10. But because of its range and pushback, it's possible to space it to be difficult to punish. Usually you would punish this move with a far reaching normal, like a sweep. You'll have to be careful however, as not all sweeps are fast enough or have enough reach. Depending on the character, you might be able to use a fast move with a lot of range to punish from far. It's also worth mentioning that Soul Spiral has an extended hurt box that stays out for about 4 frames after the block stun is done. So moves with decent horizontal range that are very fast, like a light cancel or certain raw DPs, can punish even from surprisingly far away. On top of this, in the unfortunate situation where you actually do get hit, Rose doesn't get very good Oki from Soul Spiral mid-screen, especially if you back rise, you will be quite far from her. If she tries to set up something like Soul Punish or Soul Satellite for example, she's actually very minus. Some fast, far-ranging attacks can be punished from very far away. Especially if you quick rise, you can get some meaningful damage in as a punish. Although some characters with really good jump-ins can get one in from certain ranges, Rose has time to anti-air against most traditional jumps, or trade at worst in the case of Soul Satellite, so I would suggest learning a more reliable grounded punish instead. Let's move on to the EX version of Soul Spiral. Even though the strike and projectile invulnerable, it's actually not a true reversal, as you can throw it. You can also do a move with fast recovery, like a light attack for example, as a midi, and still block in time. EX Soul Spiral, however, is not crash counterable in recovery, because it's not considered a real DP. It is, however, massively minus on block, at minus 26. A lot of characters can dash in and still get a full standing punish. If you get hit by it, Rose is barely plus on the knockdown. The frame advantage is so little that if Rose dashes in, she is fully punishable, even though a bit far away. Moving on to the next move on the list, Down 4 Median Kick. Creatively named Slide in the move list, it has variable frame data based on how much it has traveled, just like many other slides. But you should familiarize yourself with the ranges, as there are a lot of situations where the slide is actually minus on a hit, so you'll be able to take your turn back even then. If Rose slides from round star position, the slide will actually be completely safe, and in some cases even zero on block as well as giving her a combo on hit, so be careful. Next, we have Standing Heavy Punch and the cancels into her Fireball, Soul Spark. Standing Heavy Punch is notable because it is a move with very long range and is cancelable, but it's minus 6 on block by itself. The hurt box is slightly extended outwards during the recovery, making it easier to punish as well. Because Standing Heavy Punch is unsafe, Rose players will often cancel it into her Fireball to build some space and not get punished. Cancelling into the light version of the fireball often leaves no gap at all, unless it is done from a very far range. If this is the case, then the move will still be minus 6, and you might be able to still score a punish if you can reach. Cancelling into the medium or heavy fireball is much safer, leaving rows in minus 4 and minus 2 on block respectively, but creates a gap that can be exploited to your advantage. In the case of the medium fireball, the gap is big enough that a 3 frame attack will be able to interrupt Rose, while a 4 frame will trade. The heavy fireball is such a big gap that almost anything will interrupt her, possibly giving you a big punish. If you have a projectile invulnerable move, you can use it to go through the fireball and hit Rose during your recovery. This is especially convenient if this move is also very fast and with decent horizontal reach, like for example certain EXDPs like Kage's or Ken's for example, because it would be able to punish any heavy punch regardless of whether it was cancelled or not. The situation is the same when cancelling from mediums, with even bigger gaps in between the medium and the heavy fireballs. In the case of her crutching heavy punch, the medium fireball still has a gap but is not big enough to interrupt with normals, 
and with standing heavy kick Rose can cancel into the medium fireball and still have it be a true block string. Although, because standing heavy kick moves there into you, you must still be able to score a punish. Let's have a look at our air fireballs. The normal air fireball can be quite unsafe when Rose does it from close range, especially on a stand block. You actually get a lot of time to do whatever you want here, even if you get hit. Even when spaced, it often is still quite minus, and you'll be able to take your turn back. The EX version is much easier to make safe, although it will still be minus when done from up close, so you should be able to act before Rose here. Finally, the last move we're going to talk about is our instant overhead with jumping light kick. This is true for most instant overheads, but you can actually score a punish even on hit. Depending on whether it was a jump forward or jump back instant overhead, your punish is going to be different. But if you react in time, you will be able to dash in and still punish. For consistency, I would suggest attacks that are able to juggle opponents in the air, as timing your combo so that it catches Rose during the landing recovery can be quite tricky. This is all I have for you today. I hope this will help you in your future battles against Rose, and if it doesn't, well at least I tried, so I can't be held accountable for anything. Anyway, leave a comment down below if you have questions of any kind, and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this, and I will see you next time.